Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my review of Bernardus episode 2. Okay, so we did get a little bit more plot progression in this episode, so let's just get into it then. First off, our main male character, uh, Tigre, I believe his name is, got to return to his land, basically, but not without a cost. Basically, there's enemy forces from the other side approaching his land, and, you know, his... His land is obviously aware of it. They're trying to evacuate the citizens as quickly as possible, and he basically begged the uh, print or the woman, whoever I don't remember her name yet, and I don't remember the name of the land yet either, to lend him. Or at first, he tried to go himself, and he sh and she stopped him. But but uh, after that, he actually begged her to l lend him her forces. Okay, but that. And she agreed to it, but it wasn't without a price. Basically, he had to agree to give up his land to her people, okay, so that she could rule it, as long and which he was willing to do in order to save them, as long as she promised that they'd get, you know, uh, fair laws and freedoms and whatnot. Okay, which, it's unconfirmed if she actually agreed to it or not, but I assume that she's probably going to. And also, I, I have a prediction that she's probably going to, due, due to his performance in this war, he's probably, she's probably going to decide to just give him back his land to begin with. That's a cliche that's used quite a bit, and I have a prediction that they're going to use it here as well. Okay, I just wanted to say that real quick, too. Now, other than that, not a whole lot happened in this episode. We... Get, kind of get the feeling that the maid that works for that works for T. Gray is go is kind of in love with him. There might be some romance between them, but there's also I mean, but there's also like the women from the from the uh, from the other land. Like this is a harem through and through, definitely. But I enjoyed this episode very much. I thought it was enjoyable. It wasn't anything outstanding, but it was still enjoyable, and it definitely had plot progression. Uh. I really love the skills of this main character, though, because in this episode, he sensed that someone was about to attack him and actually did shoot an arrow at him. So, so he quickly spun around, shot him without even, shot the guy without even looking, okay? Seriously, shot him through the fucking head without even looking, killing him with his arrow. This guy is really fucking good. He's really fucking awesome, okay? Uh, I don't know about awesome, but he's real, really fucking good with that goddamn bow. Okay. Uh, and of course he did end up breaking his bow and getting his hand cut up, so he had to get his hand bandaged up and a new bow, but still. So, again, an enjoyable episode. Not a whole lot to say in this review because it was a pretty standard episode. It didn't have a huge amount of plot progression, although it did have some. Okay, but I enjoyed it. And, you know, if you haven't yet seen this episode and you enjoyed episode one, I recommend you check this out. I, I think it's an enjoy, enjoyable episode. If you enjoy this stuff, then you'll definitely enjoy this episode. So anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. These after guys, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.